Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, fam, and thank you for coming back to Deb Snell's 40th World, where we do commentary with the family. With the family affair. With the family affair. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I tell you, these streets do not get any rest. And I'm talking about the social media streets, all right? They have stories popping off every doggone day. But the one we're going to be talking about is the one page six put out for us. Nikki is going in on... <laughs> Can't be, we, I like to call her fans and myself. Every time I look at it, I think about Jamie Foxx and the show that they had together. But Garcia, honey, woo, child, she went up and down and then back around and then up and down again on Garcelle's body. Okay, she in her mind she did. But she was giving Garcelle, Minnie Nicki Minaj, the blues, okay? And I'm talking about the straight up with no chaser. Blues, okay. I was gonna say the Blues Brothers, but nah. But you know, I could have thought about something else. But you know, I'm just going here and there because I couldn't believe that Nikki came for somebody that was my age. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh. And I don't know. Maybe the, the what the streets are saying basically is she went off because Garcia interviewed the woman that said her husband had R A P E D her okay that's what the streets are saying out there in the social media world but we're gonna take it back with page six and uh leah Bisky had wrote the article out for us she titled it Nicki minaj slams itch garcelle Bouvius. i see why that white man left you <laughs> and i'm like wait a minute Nikki. white people leave white people white people leave black people or vice versa why you had to come out like that like, you know, you couldn't even keep a white... Well, you couldn't keep a black man. That's why you went with the white man. And the white man didn't want you either. But really, I think Garcia had found out the man was cheating on her. And she felt worthy enough to not let that, you know, uh, occupy any more space in her life. And she got rid of him. I think Garcia got rid of him, Nick. What's going on, boo? We go, but we're going to get on into the subject, Okay. It says, um, Nicki Minaj dragged Garcelle in an explicit field rant during Monday's episode of Queen Radio on Amazon. This lady is, no, see, that's what makes me up. You know who you talking about, but she gonna call her this lady. I'm like, come on, Nicki, come on, girl. But anyway, that's what she said. This lady is on one of the Real Housewives shows talking about leave my son alone don't leave comments under my son's page, the rapper said, referencing how Bouvier's 14-year-old son, Jack, received hateful comments via Instagram last month. Now, to me, and it's only me, I can agree with um, Nicki Minaj's uh, stance on why are you taking up for your son? Who did he give his information out to? That made them have access to him to leave those things. And technically, basically, you could have got him another phone with another number and just let it be done. Okay, because what were you really going to do? Was, was a crime really committed? No, not really. Uh, some people would say it was cyberbullying. And I was like, mm, that could go either way. Could go either way. So, evidently, it wasn't too much that could have been done because... Garcia didn't put out charges on somebody. You know what I'm saying? So we're going back to the article. Um, it says, Itch, if you can't stand the effing heat, get out the kitchen, itch. 
Nikki, 39, appears to be feuding with the Bravo star over an old interview Bouvier's 55 conducted with Jennifer Hogg, who accused the rapper's husband, Kenneth Petty, of R-A-P-E. Okay? Nikki and Petty, 44, welcomed their first child together, a son, in October of 2020. Did you care about my MF son? It? Did you care about my son? Oh, uh, Minaj shouted. Um, Nikki then took a jab at the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star 2010 divorced from Mike Nylon saying, I see why that white man left you itch. Uh, Minaj doesn't seem to have any sympathy for Garcelle after the reality star had a sit-down interview with Petty's alleged victim. Hoke appeared on The Real in August where she told Bouvius or Garcelle and co-host Adrian Ballon, I'm tired of being afraid. At the time, she also alleged that Nikki and Petty tried to keep her silent. Ho also detailed the alleged ape, okay, that took place on September 16, 1994, when she was just in high school. She claimed Petty approached her at a bus stop, pulled a knife, held it to her back, and took her to a nearby house where he alleged allegedly aped her okay i knew what he wanted how shared with garcelle he pushed me down on the bed we wrestled for my clothes how sued the couple for harassment and eventually dropped her case against menage however the case against petty is still ongoing according to people petty denied the ape ho but spent over four years in prison for attempted ape um, Nikki has stood by her man throughout and even claimed that Petty had a relationship with Hope. A rep of Garcia did not immediately respond to page six request for comment. So, it's just a back and forth thing, uh, on social media. Nobody want to put up the big dogs and start putting some paperwork together and cease and desisting out there. So, you know, I don't know, hell, maybe Garcia's scared too. Who knows, okay? I don't really know how uh, Nikki go in and go out. I know she got an alter ego named Roman, and he ain't nothing nice, okay? So, uh, hopefully the women can just squash this uh, because it is kind of silly to a certain degree. Um, and it's not looking good. It's not looking good with black women going out here and doing this kind of stuff. Okay, I mean, just because the man got in some trouble, me and her husband, and, you know, she didn't want to believe that it happened, and, you know, men and women tell stories, and, you know, if they lie that good, you don't know if they coming and going with a good lie or a good truth, you know what I'm saying? But, <coughs> yeah, Nikki fighting out there with uh, Garcelle. I was like, Garcelle, just keep quiet, keep quiet, and let stuff just roll on off. And if she keep acting up, then, you know, you got to get the legal system on her just is what it is but that's all i got for this particular story get down in the comments and let me know what y'all thought about this 50 and this 30 something year old grown ass women going back to back and it really it's just nikki going back to back because garcelle don't seem like she's saying anything okay i don't know if that's fear or i don't know if she just got her uh big girl's drawers on like girl you ain't talking to me you you you, you you're not gonna be you know harassing me i'm not even gonna play. i'm gonna play like you don't exist is what's going on so uh yeah that's all i got i ain't got no more but we'll keep looking at the story as it continues to develop maybe um nikki will run out of steam and stop calling her every kind of itches in the book okay and garden tools hopefully she would end that sense of you know that part of the argument and, and and be like women you know because people gonna say everything it depends on what you answer to it what uh is, is the thing of the matter okay but i'll see y'all next video bye bye